I must admit, I was surprised to learn how common violence and aggression is in the healthcare sector. Every day, healthcare providers experience aggression and violence on the job. I've been working in healthcare for about 15 and a half years, and mainly with Alzheimer's. Are you awake? Yeah. Look at me. On days like today, Karen loves her job. She cares for and about her patients. But over the years, she's also had days that were challenging. Now you drink your juice. We had a new guy, he was a boxer, and we didn't know that if you put clothes over him, it scares him, so I went to put him on, and so he kind of like hit me like right in the chin. I mean, everybody in, uh, that you, you find in healthcare are such caring people, and, and um, so to see a patient with difficult behaviors and really find that balance between uh, caring yeah, for the leg. patient and hey. your own safety, that's um, better. becomes quite a challenge for our staff. Uh, let's fix this. That is not very nice on you. Uh, let's fix you. you. After a while, you just accept. Like a lot of care aides and RNs and LPNs, it's just, it's part of the job. And that's, and that's the hard part about that. I think some of our staff think, you know, don't want to attach any that. blame to these patients. Um, and, and also depending on the, the level of what the perceived aggression was. So, you know, some people see verbal aggression at different levels um, and a lot of that you'll probably never see reported. The problem is that the violence and aggression persists and even escalates and the health care provider does not ask for help. Then there's a ripple effect that has an impact not only on the worker but ultimately on the care they provide their patients. There's always that, that fear factor I don't think ever really goes away after that so and so I think you come into work, you're stressed, and it's just, you don't do the best that you could have done before. Individuals like Karen are the cornerstone of our health care system. When they experience violence and aggression in the workplace, they're less able to provide the care that we need when we're most vulnerable. We all have a role to play in keeping the health care system strong, and it begins by caring for the caregiver. For WorkSafe BC, I'm Maria LaRose.